to or to because that's not in the domain as you remember our domain was uh, between negative 2 and 2 for the function alright so the first thing I do is okay let's have a look at the uh, derivative here so let's come across over here so we can have a look and see what happens the uh, derivative remember was this 2x squared over 4 minus x squared now <clears throat> clearly what happens at 0 well when x is 0 we get 4 over the um, square root of 4, 4 over 4 which would be 2 which is positive so I put a positive sign here showing that in actual fact, well actually I might put it underneath and I might put up here a positive slope is going up to the right and so remember the derivative is really just the slope of the tangent at the point so at 0 the slope of the tangent is positive so it's going up to the right okay right now what happens uh, well if I want to look in here um, in this section here this is root 2 which is approximately 1.41 etc obviously if I put um, 1.5 in here we can see what happens 1.5 the bottom line will always be positive alright so keep that in mind because uh, remember we've got a squared here and if I take 1.5 and square it it's certainly uh, less than 4 so when I take that away from four it's positive and take the square root I get positive number so that's positive so the only thing I really have to worry about is the top uh, or the numerator so 1.5 squared is about 2.25 and multiply it by 2 will give me um, 4.5 so when I subtract I'll get a negative number and so in this section here I get a negative which is a slope going down to the right this is now already pointing me to the fact that I'm having a extreme value at this square root of 2 because it's going from a, a positive slope to a negative slope okay and that would indicate a absolute maximum extra, I mean and a, and a local maximum point now we don't know whether it's extreme yet or not but we will find out alright next if I now do the same thing over here with negative 1.5 again the numerator we're not uh, not having to, I mean the denominator we're not going to have to worry about so the numerator becomes the important part and so we put in here again this will be the same thing so it's going to be negative as well okay because we again get negative 4.5 on the top so that will be negative so this is looking like a local minimum here at the negative square root of 2 alright so this then allows us to uh, look at the points so let's put a little table critical points alright we're going to have uh, negative 2 negative root 2 uh, root 2 and 2 alright the derivative dy and dx alright uh, what was going to happen uh, in this case well we know that it was undefined here okay undefined uh, we know its value here alright we just looked at this at the here we're going to have a, uh, a minimum value okay and I guess we should put over here um, the extrema what kind of extrema it is and of course what the value is going to be right now do we get an extrema here <clears throat> right well clearly it's going down to uh, to zero all right so when x is equal to a negative two we had uh, that the function uh, was zero so that looks like it will be a local um, maximum or minimum okay all right uh, because the value of the function here was zero all right and the reason we choose it to be a local maximum is, is the function is going down so it starts at here and the function is going down okay and I'll draw a little picture of that in a minute okay so uh, that's uh, why it's a local um, maximum because it starts going down from negative 
2 because we have a negative slope it's decreasing the function is decreasing now at uh, negative square root of 2 okay then what do we get all right well in this case here we got the y and dx was in fact um, equal to 0 all right we're going to have some sort of uh, coming down so it goes down below 0 turns around so this is going to be a, a, a minimum value okay and since the function then goes up and then comes down to zero again that's going to be an absolute minimum okay and the value of the function now if I work out the value of the function remember now if I come up here what is the function again y equals x square root of 4 minus x squared okay so I'm going to have a negative square root of 2 here and uh, this is going to be um, 2 so it's going to be square root of 2 and a negative and negative square root of 2 so that's going to give me negative 2 as a value so there's our negative 2 right next we now come to the square root of 2 again the derivative was 0 now the extreme and now notice if you look at our picture here it's come down from 0 it's gone back up okay it's positive then of course it was zero here and then it goes from increasing to decreasing so this is at the very top here and then it comes back down to zero so this is the absolute maximum so it's a maximum and if I put in the square root of two here this is square root of two by the square root of two will give me two so that's its value notice that it's the highest value so far it's higher than zero all right, and now when we look at um, 2, it's undefined. And we'll have a minimum. Notice that it comes down here. This would be a minimum because it's smaller than those points around it. There's nothing after 2, so it's all the points before 2 or it's higher. So this would be a local minimum. And, of course, we have 0 as that. All right, so we've now identified the... Uh, absolute maximum minimum which is at root 2 and negative root 2 and what they are notice that it's a absolute maximum of 2 and a absolute minimum of negative 2 and if you were to draw a picture of this function it's going to have something that looks somewhat like this here's 2 uh, negative 2 and 2 and it's going to do something like this because it's at 0 at x okay and it's going to come back around and do something like this so roughly that's it notice that here's our maximum at root 2 here's our minimum at negative root 2 and notice this is a local um, maximum because it's higher than any points nearby this is a local minimum this is an absolute value uh, no, sorry not absolute value but a local minimum because uh, everything nearby is larger than it. Right, so that's how we find uh, extrema and uh, you should get a lot of practice uh, doing these kind because these are a typical kind of question. There is one in your assignment.